Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another week of episodes on the AI Guide. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, uh, click those links below to get your free resource where you'll learn a lot more about AI than we can do in these short segments. And the other resource is to get my book on Amazon, The Beginner's Guide to AI, a very quick history of AI, and current impact on 10 different industries. So check out that book. It's a fast read, only two or three hours for the whole book, and it'll tell you where AI is on transforming 10 different industries right now, plus, of course, the history. So thanks again for tuning in, and let's get into it. So AI is enabling technology. We talk about that a lot here, that AI enables other technologies that are changing the world. However, there are also technologies that enable AI, and today we're going to talk about one of them. So the topic of today overall is AAM or Advanced Air Mobility, and we've done a number of segments on this over the last three years. Why? Because it gets closer and closer and closer to becoming reality. So what is AAM? AAM means air taxis, right? Vertical takeoff and landing. Usually electric is the format that most of them are going to be in. And at the beginning, with a pilot, however, AI assisted and ultimately fully autonomous air taxis. However, in order to use these air taxis, they have to integrate into the national airspace. So around every airport and across the country at high altitudes, the airspace is controlled by the Federal Aviation Administration here in the U.S. and similar institutions around the globe. Starting to use AAM means that these flights and technologies have to be fitted into the traffic that's already in the airspace. So how do they do that? Well, uh, when these vehicles are ready for final testing, meaning point-to-point -point in airspace, then NASA is going to enable that testing because they are in the best position to do so. And we'll find out why right now. So basically what NASA has done is taken a specific vehicle called a Mobile Mission Center control center, and they've upgraded it for these AAM flight tests. These tests will determine where AAM can take off and land, and once it does take off, at what altitudes it has to fly, areas where it cannot go due to commercial, regular commercial air traffic, and so forth. This is NASA's Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign. And so they took and modified a vehicle to do a bunch of things that will permit it to do the testing needed to make AAM a reality in the national airspace. So what they did was they added the ability for it to use satellite data and it will track AAM all over the country while different manufacturers test and verify with the FAA the uh, certification of these vehicles. So that's another aspect of air mobility is that the vehicle itself has to be certified by the AAA and FAA, sorry, and then the FAA also has to come up with flight rules. And the FAA doesn't have the technology or staffing to do something that's sophisticated. That's why NASA is doing this on behalf of the FAA and will submit all the data from the test to FAA. 
This new vehicle is a mobile proving ground allowing NASA to observe and analyze a broad variety of AAM use cases and vehicles. So they'll be able to move this from place to place around the country to help test different AAM vehicles as they come online. Uh, what did they do to this vehicle? Well, they added ultra high frequency and very high frequency radios to allow the team to communicate with the aircraft and ground personnel. Uh, they added wireless and wired internet access, satellite data capability, the ability to record mission video and voice data, and uh, for it to generate power anywhere it is. So this was a big effort over two years to modify this vehicle to make it suitable for AAM testing. Then uh, the article goes on to discuss how uh, this vehicle will actually be used. The MOF will be used to analyze flight paths, vehicle maneuvers, approach and landing, and other critical data as the national campaign expands its research activities with partners currently developing electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. And then they go on to say one of the very important things that this will enable is the development of AAM automation software, also known as AI. <laughs> so we can see that AAM, in order to be successful, will need AI, but in order to help develop the AI and develop the vehicles and certify the vehicles and come up with flight rules that required NASA and this vehicle that they've invented to do that. So all these different technologies work together toward an end result, the end result being urban and uh, suburban air taxi vehicles that will fill the skies starting next year, 2023. So thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on another episode of the AI Guide. Click the links below, get those resources. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Take care, and we'll see you Wednesday.